So putting two, three, four or more buttons side by side in all devices like desktop, mobile and tablet is a pretty common thing in web design. But there are no obvious way to accomplish this in the DB Builder. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can put these buttons side by side using a small CSS snippet. And the good news is that you can use this trick to put any DB module side by side across all devices. Let's go! You can find all the snippets and other goodies in this blog post on divimundo.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below the video. So let's jump into our test site. And I have created a page with the DV Builder and it contains one section. And inside the section, I have a row with a text module. And then I have another row with another text module below. So I want to put two buttons side by side in the middle here. So I'll start by inserting a new row and I'll go for a single column row and I'll add a button module and I click save. So I'll just duplicate this module. So now I have two buttons, but they are not side by side. So to do that, we'll go to the row settings by clicking the cogwheel. And now you have to go to the column settings for the column where the buttons are. So to do that, just click the cogwheel to the left of the column. Now head over to the advanced tab and the custom CSS tab. And this is where the magic happens. So in the main element box, you type display colon flex. And you can see that something happened here. The buttons are placed side by side. And if we preview this in tablet, we have the same design here and also for mobile. But they are a little bit too close to each other. There are no spacing here. Uh, to solve that, you just hit enter and add column, gap, and then maybe 20 pixels. So column hyphen gap will add space between the different objects in the container. And now it looks much better. And we can take a look in tablet and in mobile as well. Of course, you could increase the spacing by just increasing the number here from 20 to 40, and you will have more spacing between the modules. So maybe you want to center line these buttons. Then we'll add another little row of CSS and we'll type justify hyphen content and center. And there we have it center aligned in the container. And if you want to have it right aligned or in the end of the container, you will just change the justify content from center to flex end. And there we go, it's right aligned. And the same goes for tablet and also mobile. So I'll delete the justify content to have it left aligned by default. Now I can add as many buttons as I like here. Maybe we would have four and you can see that automatically they are placed side by side. But what happens if they don't fit here, like in mobile, you can see that they are squeezed together. And after a while they are walking out of the screen because they can't fit in there. So this could be a problem. We can use a little CSS snippet to force the um, modules here to be their original size and to row break or stack if they can't fit. So to do that, I'll go to the row settings, column settings again, advanced and custom CSS. And now we type flex hyphen wrap and wrap. Okay, so when the third button doesn't fit in here, it will wrap or row break by default. And if we go to tablet, we can see that they will all fit, so nothing will happen here. And the same for desktop. You can change these settings for different devices or screen sizes. So by default, 
these values here are inherited from desktop to the smaller devices like tablet and phone. But if I click this little icon here, the responsive content icon, I can choose tablet. And then we can see here a little bit gray that it has inherited the CSS from des desktop. But if I paste this and I can increase maybe the column gap to 40. Now keep an eye here on the buttons. Oops, I was too slow. Let's say 40. And now we have a bigger gap. And I can go to the phone view. And now it has inherited the values from the bigger device, which is the tablet. So I'll paste here again. And now I can change this to maybe column gap 30. So now I have unique values for each device. Now you can use this trick for any DV module. Let's say that I insert a blurb module here. Let's save it and we can duplicate it. And I'll go to the row settings and to the column settings. And now I'll head over to the advanced tab again and custom CSS. And I'll type display legs. Now they are side by side and I'll type column gap. 20 pixels and now we have the column gap here and you will see the same result in all screen sizes so this is basic flexbox css and it can be really powerful